this game between Akilal and myself because he requested it. So um, I'm going to start recording. He's open with um, Old Faithful. So as you know, my um, response is always to respond to Old Faithful back again so that um, I control the center. So that take away the center from him. Okay, so I am recording. He's requesting recording. Okay, so he's developing this um, single corner, but because I've got um, a check in the center, then it stops him from actually developing his single corner before I can. So I'm going to develop my single corner right now. Okay. Uh, you got to make sure it's safe to keep on developing my single corner. And it is because you can't pull any tricks if I move my checker here. So I'll move my checker here. And then his next move is probably going to be there, but no, it didn't. Okay. So I stopped him from um, developing the single corner. And obviously I not want to get to my sweet spot now. So... What I will do is to move this checker here into my sweet spot. I must make sure it's okay to do so. Yes, it is. Okay. So I've got a checker in the sweet, my sweet spot. I'm stopping him from getting to his sweet spot. And my next move, is, if he plays here, is to um, take this checker away from his sweet spot. So now I will take this check away from going into his sweet spot. So I will exchange. Let me make sure it's safe to do so. Yes, it is. So I've taken away his checker. So now I've got two checkers in um, the, the center squares. So I'm commanding the center squares. And as you can see, why it's important to command the center squares is that um, if he exchanges, he's going to remove his checkers from his back row, whereas I can keep my back row intact. He can only remove um, checkers from my um, from my um, second row up. So I will defend this here like that. And now he's lost a checker. Yeah, let's just make sure he's lost a checker. Yes, he's lost a checker. He's going to lose this checker no matter what. Because I'm going to squeeze him here. So, in if exchanges, he's going to lose it. Okay, so he's going to lose this checker here. No matter what he does now. Because I'm going to squeeze it and then I will exchange this checker here with this checker. So he has lashed. And as you know, Aquilal is a very good player. He gives away his points. He doesn't, even if he wins, he just um, gives you the game. Although he only has 400, 549 points. And, oh, so I'll tell him that he's lost actually. And I predict you've lost. Okay, so now I squeeze him here. Let's make sure I can do that. And he's lost the checker. Now we'll just exchange here. And then he's lost. Let's make sure he can't do any tricks. No, he can't. So just exchange. Because he's full of tricks. He does a lot of tricks, by the way, because he's very good at playing. Just make sure. So once, um, you know, anyone loses a check, and normally it's, it's um, game over. So he's lost this game. Make sure, okay. Okay. 
Okay. So I'm going to play here. And then his only move is to play here. Yeah. And then what I'm going to do is to squeeze him now. I will squeeze him. So if you lose another checker, you lose another checker here. He's going to lose another checker. So he's lost another checker. So that's, <laughs> that's two checkers down. Let's make sure that this position is okay here. And he can't get to this checker here. Well, he can eventually. Okay, let me just make sure it's all safe to go here. Okay. Right. So now I want to make sure that I don't get caught out. Okay, he's created a little trap for me. If I didn't see it, I uh, yeah, I nearly didn't see it. He would get a three shot. Do you see it, guys? He gets a three shot. He's setting me up for a three shot. So obviously, to avoid that, you just play that checker here. And now, obviously, we uh, we'll just exchange checkers. And if he does, he, this checker is hanging here, so he can easily lose his checker soon as well. So he's setting me up for traps now. Okay, so he's going to attack this checker here. I'm going to make sure. Okay. All right, so. I'm, what I'm going to do to break him up at the back more is to just sacrifice my king and get a king immediately. And that breaks up his back row completely. Okay, he saw that. All right. Because as I say, he's a very good player. So he saw that. So let me just go and get a king. Now he's going to go after this chakra. So how do I avoid that? Okay. He goes after that checker. Okay. You have to do your little tricks as well. So... He's going to get that checker in any case. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, boy. This is breaking my concentration. Oops. Oh, no. Oh, stop. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I've got, uh, I've got to do this. I've got to hit him for a three shot. Got to hit him for a three shot. And I don't want to break up my um, double corner, so I'm going to take it this way. So I hit him back for a three shot. Yeah, I couldn't think fast enough for four and four, but I've got a better position than he has. Okay. Okay, he's got, he's got three to four, so I've won. Okay. I thought it was four to four, but I just counted this now. He's got three checkers and I got four, so it's a foregone conclusion that he's lost. Okay. 
Yeah, she knows it's lost. Um, okay, I will. Good game. Okay. Well, post this as soon as possible. As possible. Okay, so he knows he's lost. I'll post this, and again, he needs to beat me consistently but because i analyze our games um save the games and analyze it then i know where, where i've gone wrong and um, that's how you can win and improve your game just by practice practice and playing and learning from your mistakes so thank you very much guys for watching um this video please stay safe and please hit the like button and subscribe button and add any comments that you want to of course i will respond to your comments have a great and safe day